Welcome back to the Lynn Miller Room, final segment of the Eagle Sports Coaches Show, and I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not. Uh, Sean bless Woods. You, bless you anyway. Thank you. Sean yeah, Woods has joined us, and Coach, uh, you know, uh, two tough battles last week. You go Murray State here Wednesday, huge crowd, uh, a great effort, double overtime, and then you go on the road to the bra- bracket buster, and you go another overtime with Oakland University. Well, we just, uh, you know, we're battling, and uh, – you know, just got to find a way to win those games, you know, especially down the stretch. You know, we, we're from an a, a effort standpoint, it's there. Uh, now we just got to figure out a way to win. And, uh, you know, can't turn the ball over down the stretch and things like that. Got to do some things, you know, fine tune some things to, to, to just have confidence that we are going to win instead of being, you know, happy that we're there. Now let's try to figure out. No, no, we're going to win when we go into the basketball game. And uh, I, that, that's a culture that we're changing right now with these guys. But they're giving me everything they got. And, uh, you know, to go into Oakland and to, to have a chance to win, we should have won the game, uh, w- w- was very gratifying because that's a tough place to play. They've only lost one game there all year. And, uh, you know, we, we dominated them on the glass, dominated almost every category. Uh, had a questionable call down the end, but, you know, Camp Crow was spilling milk. But, you know, our guys are battling, and hopefully we, we, this takes us into the tournament because we've had some real, real close tournament-type games. You know, you were down 20 here against Murray State, you know, 10 minutes to go. Something just clicked with your young man. Now they know they can play with anybody in this league. I know that you're disappointed that you lost and you're not happy with the loss, but that 10-minute stretch – you know, I don't know if it's the best basketball we've played, but it's uh, it's up there. Well, yeah, and, and that that showed the signs of you know it, we're turning the corner from a mental standpoint of not giving up. You know, we could have easily gave in like we did against Eastern uh, at, against versus Murray, and our guys didn't. We fought, um, we wore them down, um, and we were still had some you know had a lot left in the tank. Unfortunately, that you know the time went out, but our guys battled. You know, we we. Stuck ourselves in the foot again with the turnovers, the three turnovers right there, and we were up six in the first in the first uh, overtime. But you know we, we got to find a way to, to stop doing those type of things and, and 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 just go ahead and take the game and win it. You know, as a coaching staff, uh, you may not because you get to see them every day. But as an announcer, from day one when you start to now, it's a different team. I mean, I think they're finally having the light switch turned on. They finally understand exactly what you want. And you can see, you know, we're, we're never going to, you know, uh, say they're going to be all NBAers, but they know their role now and they and they know the fact that uh, what you expect from them. Well, no doubt about it, and they're buying in. But yeah. it took a while, you know, because they didn't know the method of my madness. Now they understand the method of my madness. And if they just do what we ask them to do, it works. And uh, they're there now, you know, and they're all hungry. They, and the seniors are seeing the light. The, the 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 end of it a little bit so they're having a little more sense of urgency uh because they are having some success and uh they want to win you know they know that hey you know if we just listen and buy in and just give the effort that coach is asking us to give we can beat these teams and now they're seeing it now they got to be mentally tougher now to finish the basketball game yeah your four seniors also know the fact that uh, their career winding down and they can extend it by each game we win. Exactly. <laughs> you know, no so. doubt about it. So, you know, they see that. And uh, uh, they've been playing – every last one of them have been playing pretty good as of late, and, and that's what we need. What a crowd, though, at Murray. You know, it seemed like when we were down, they didn't give up either. And when we started making that run, you know, a lot of people on their feet, a lot of people cheering, a lot of people encouraging these young men. And, you know, they were a big part of that. No doubt about it. And, and that's what it has to be here all the time. Not just against Murray, but against anyone. That's what makes a college basketball team good is the fan support and the support period. And, uh, you know, they wouldn't let our guys quit. Therefore, our guys didn't quit. And our guys kind of felt bad because we did lay down on them uh, versus Eastern. And they didn't want to let that happen again. So, you know, that's why the crowd is the sixth man at any college basketball arena. And uh, we got to continue to do that and build on it for next year and the years to come. You close out the season, two road games coming up, uh, ESPN game uh, coming up against Tennessee State, uh, a very, very athletic team. No doubt about it. And they got their best guy coming back. He's back now. So, you know, it's going to be an interesting game. You know, but we're going to go in there and we're going to fight and, uh, you know, we're going to try to come out of there with a win. 
Tell us a little bit about what you've noticed about Tennessee State lately. Have they, you know, you well, they're said just, they're, they're, their main guys back. They <laughs> they got another guy who can score twenty plus points a game. So that's the deal. You add twenty plus points to what they've already had. That's the reason why they've been playing pretty good as of late. Pretty good to have your uh, team also showcased on ESPN. Oh, it's always you know. I wish we could have got our bracket buster game like the other yeah. three uh, OVC teams did. But you know, we got to take advantage of it when we can, and uh, we're going to do so. On Thursday night, and it's 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 very gratifying to to get your program on national television. It helps recruiting, it helps in everything, and the kids that we are recruiting, they get to see us instead of looking on a computer. Yeah. They can actually watch us on television and relax a little bit and see what we got to offer and and, and our style of play. And Tech uh, coming up uh, the close of regular season on uh, Saturday. The Eblen Center, very tough place to play. i will be your first trip in there. No doubt about it, and we're looking forward to it. You know, uh, their record, they're, they're not as bad as their record says. They, they are a good basketball team, and they're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the next year or two because they're young. But, uh, you know, they gave us a tough fight here uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, we got to go in there with a different mindset that, hey, you know, they're, they're, this is not the same team we played at home, and we barely got out of here with the win. We got to step it up just a little, you know, a, a little bit more to get a win out of there. In the OVC tournament wise, uh, the, the the brackets will come out on Sunday after the Saturday's <clears throat> game. What do what do you think? How's it look now? Well, right now we are at five, you know, and uh, we want to pretty much stay at five. Uh, but you know, it, it just depends on you know the tournament time is tournament time. You still got to play the best to, to 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 get to the NCAA tournament. So, you know, need a little luck uh, with it from a seating standpoint and wins and losses. But you got to continue to take care of your business. And as long as we take care of our business, game in and get out, game in and game out uh, in the OVC tournament, you know th that's all that matters. Sean, we'll let you go. We appreciate you. Good luck on the trip. And all right, buddy. We'll, we'll see you in Nashville. No doubt about it. Sean Woods, head coach of Morehead State. Once again, the ESPN game uh, Thursday, seven o'clock will be Eastern Time start. Chuck Morales will have all the action at six forty-five, and then the Eagles will end the regular season at Tennessee Tech on Saturday. That's this edition of the Eagles Sports Coaches Show. For everyone involved, I'm Jason Blanton. So long, everybody.